is me, Ryan from Studios, and I'm back in our video, and today I have a very special uh, LEGO Star Wars set review, and this is set 752969, and this is Dual Mustafar. It has 208 pieces and is I recommend for ages 7 and up, and it has two minifigures that which are um, Anakin or Obi-Wan and Anakin. Now we'll get right into the minifigures. So this is Anakin Skywalker, and um, this is actually like, exclusive figure like the Obi-Wan. And the one weird thing about this lightsaber piece, and I'm not crazy, this lightsaber, uh, at least the hilt, is a bit different. It's like a lot less translucent. I'll show you um, a red lightsaber, and they're different like kind of qualities. Maybe if I have a blue lightsaber on here, I don't. But um, they're like different. They're different qualities and stuff, and it's really weird because um, there's like obviously no bubbles in here. I really still don't know which one I like better. I just like this one better because it looks like normal, I guess. This one just looks weird. Same with Obi-Wan's, which we'll get into a bit later. But um, anyways, uh, I think what they should have done with Anakin's hair is made it dark. The dark um, one, I think that would just look a lot better, I guess. Um, that's the only really thing that I don't like about the figure. Uh, the face print looks amazing as always. Uh, you have the scar here and the cheekbones and then over here it looks like Palpatine it's I, I don't like this but it would look pretty cool if you made a younger Palpatine and use this face so so the head looks like with uh, the hair and you could see the back torso printing he has like a utility belt and there's kind of like dirt on it or something and there's obviously holes because the fire or uh, I guess flames uh, destroyed the parts of his robe and um, you know I think it looks really cool the printing is pretty good um, I kind of wish they uh, dual molded it, but uh, it's you know it's fine. I I just still love this. I still love this figure <laughs> nonetheless. And um, now let's get right into Obi Wan. So um, we have frightened Obi Wan. So it kind of looks kind of frightened in this uh, thing. But as you can see, the same thing is going on with his lightsaber here. So that's pretty weird. Also, I'm also I'm thinking the hilts are a bit like more chromey than they usually would like the older ones. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's just because it's brand new or just because uh, they made a new one. But um, I do really love the torso printing he has. He has a bunch of different robes on. He has like a shirt under that. He has a robe under that. He has a robe under that. And then un and then over all that, he has another robe. So it looks like he has four robes unless that's supposed to be his chest. And if that is, it's really discolored. Um, on there, it's not. So obviously, I'll just show you guys. See, it's not on there. So... Um, but you can just see there's just a lot of different holes on him and stuff. Uh, he has his utility belt, and you can see the back. It's pretty much the same thing. So I really love this figure. I'm happy to have, like, a non-Clone Wars Obi-Wan without the bug eyes and everything. And also, like, a prequels Obi-Wan, because I have two Obi-Wans otherwise. So, um, great figure. Now let's get right into the set. So this is the build of the set, and it's I have to say it's very well put together. It's, it's actually pretty decently sized for... Uh, a twenty dollar set. You can see the size of the box is pretty much the size of the box, the at least the length of the box. And um, I'm just I just absolutely love the set. It's so much better than the Star Killer base set, which I'll get into a bit later. Um, but the main uh, play function is that uh, you can of course fight, and I think that's really cool. So you can obviously fight. Of course, the one thing is though is that Anakin has the high ground, so that's kind of sad. But you can just you know can just bash them together. I think. And what you could also do is if there's like this clip piece here and you could just attach it like that. And the one thing that's kind of weird though is I don't know if it's just the piece quality, at least with this piece, um, it's it kind of like doesn't go in all the way. Like you can see I'm pushing a lot and it's kind of like breaking. It's not like breaking it, but it's like messing with it a lot. So you kind of have to do it quickly. Even then sometimes I don't want to like... There we go. So you could have uh, multiple ways. The one thing is though, if you're trying to use Anakin, uh, you have to kind of get your hands in there. So you have to have generally small hands, and you. But you can still have them lightsaber battle. It still looks pretty cool. Um, now the one thing is this is not very size accurate, and everything. Everyone just think it's uh, for depth reasons, and that's what I also think as well. Uh, so we're gonna put this into the other position. Yeah, it's kind of annoying with this, uh, but you can see this is like a little uh, a mining droid, I guess. I don't know what they're really doing there on the lava. And there's like this little uh, ball thing that you could uh, hold on to uh, kind of move it. You could move it 360 degrees as long as the lightsabers don't get away with this. And um, you could just do that. Um, also, there's uh, you can see there's a grill plate and a jumper on here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the I would say the droid's pretty well put together. Um, it has the uh, skater piece or whatever, and I guess that's pretty cool. Obviously, both of these 
uh, platforms slash droids can move back and forward. I don't know if it's a problem with mine, but this one kind of gets stuck sometimes. So that's kind of weird. Don't really know why though, but it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see there's like this printed piece on top of that and it's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, yeah, so you could just, I guess do that. You could, if you had like two friends, you could probably like knock one off. The one thing is though, I don't know if this purpose purpose like uh it's meant to be like that but anakin falls off a lot easier than obi-wan probably because he only has one stud i'm not sure if it's either that because of that or they just want you to have anakin lose because that's how the movie works um so yeah there's also this other feature i lost one of the studs I, when i was moving uh the set oh here it is yeah so you could also push like that and i guess a bunch of uh charcoal pieces just come flying up it's uh just a one by one orange stud pretty cool there's also some fire around here, so I guess this is the high ground then. Or sorry, this you can't not see this at all. Uh, yeah, but the studs you can see, you just put them, load them back in, and fire them out. I guess so. We also have the high ground over here, and you can see the lava just flowing down, and it looks really neat. Um, this is the other side of it if you're in really interested. And um, there's a bunch of these tiles in here, which are pretty cool, actually. You also have um, this that could be, basically in the movie it's supposed to be like this. It's like a shield stabilizer to keep the lava from hitting the uh, separatist base. And eventually, what happens is it falls in the movie. And um, I guess this part got caught up by lava. It like fell down and fell back up because um, because obviously this part's covered in lava. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's not really much to go over left in the set. A bunch of different rock things. Um, this set is absolutely beautiful. Um, now I'm going to compare it with the uh, dual, and, you know, uh, Star Killer base, which I do not have, but I have seen it enough, and I know, and I know all of you know what it pretty much looks like. So I'd say the figures are a lot better than uh, the dual Mustafars, or not dual, <laughs> dual Star Killer base, um, because they're exclusive. Unlike the Ray and Kylo Ren that weren't, uh, well, they're kind of exclusive. They have a little different printings than the other versions of Anakin and Obi-Wan. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it's also, there's, it's, I think it's a bigger set in general. I, don't, I really don't know how big it would be, like, if you had it in hand. But I, I think this one might be a bit longer. I'm not sure if it's as wide. Um, but I think there's a lot more play features in this set. And there's a lot more iconic scenes. Now, for the next one that I wish they could do... Um, I, they're probably going to do one from the original trilogy since they did a prequel one and a, uh, sequel trilogy one. So what I hope they do with is, is they actually do one from Empire Strikes Back where Luke is on Dagobah and he sees himself as Darth Vader. And I think that'd be pretty cool. It'd make an exclusive Darth Vader with an, uh, maybe it could have like a broken helmet, um, at the side with Luke's face in it. And then it could have a normal helmet. I think that would be actually pretty cool to have. I would probably get it and... Um, yeah, I just think that would be pretty cool. Also, the figures don't have to stay up here this entire time. You could also have them fighting on here, like they actually have do in the movie. However, you can't have them this close, uh, so you kind of have to put them, like, on there or over here, and even then, then you'd have to put them over here, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but I think this is probably a 9 out of 10 set. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend you guys to pick it up. It's probably, like, 19... It's probably, like, $15 on Amazon, so... Um, it's a good deal, and um, it's twenty dollars originally. So twenty dollars, it's already the price per piece is already pretty good, and I'm not really that big on it. But uh, also, here's what the back of the box looks like. Shows all the different play features. This is a better look at this uh, launcher thing because mine did technically launch up. It was just launched that way. Um, but so that's pretty cool, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, set review. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.